Uh, sit down here for the kids' spot. There are any other kids who want to join for the kids' spot? Feel free to come in. Mummies can bring your little ones as well. Okay. I have a bag full of things that we all need or we have every day of our lives. We need this like absolutely every day. Let's see if we can spot some of these. What is this? Clothes, some dress. We all need clothing, don't we? Okay. And then, what's this? We need a house. It's a doll house, but we all live in an actual house. If a big, it could be a big house, it could be a small house, but we all need a house. Agreed? Okay. Then what have I got here? Got a little plant here and a yellow can. What do you think this is for? Yes. Water our plants. Yes, we water our plants. Do you think the plants need water to live and grow? Yeah. How about us? Okay, do we need water? Yes. We need water. Yes. Okay. What happens if you don't drink water? You get dehydrated. Oh, yeah, we'd get dehydrated and then we could die if we don't drink water, isn't it? So water is really, really needed. Okay, let's keep that there. How about this? Toast. Toast. Okay. We need food. We need food. You got it. You got it. Okay. The last one. What do you think jam. this is? Not jam. Another guess? Yes. A candle in a glass container. Let me light it safely away from you all. Okay. For just a minute. It smells. berries and apples. Yeah. Okay, now it's nice, burning nice and bright, isn't it? Now what happens if I put the lid on it? It still goes low down. I didn't know if you put something on top of the flames that hit. Yeah, it, it just flickered and then it, the flame's completely gone, isn't it? What did I do to the candle? I cut off something by doing this. Yeah, I covered it and cut off the air supply into the candle and the candle needs some oxygen or the air for it to be lighted. What do we do when we breathe in? Can you all do breathe in and breathe out? Yeah. What happens when we breathe in and breathe out? What do we need? We get oxygen. We get oxygen. And we need our blood to go stay where we are. Oh, he's a little scientist there. And, 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 and yes, and, it goes and, in and we need air. And then, and then, uh, and then the carbon dioxide. Yeah, the carbon dioxide goes out. Okay, another one here. Okay. <laughs> so, so we need air, we need water, we need food, we need shelter, we need clothing, we need these things. Can we live absolutely without it, even no. for a few days? No. So we need this absolutely. This is like absolute basic need for us. Do you all agree on that? Yeah. So we are celebrating Easter today. And what we celebrate on Easter, if you think about it, is pretty much similar to these things for our life. What we celebrate on Easter is the... We do Easter hunt. We do Easter hunt. But Easter hunt is something we do. But what is actually the celebration of Easter is about? When Jesus rose from the dead. We are celebrating the resurrection of Jesus. And that is like the absolute basic foundation on which we, the church is. Because if Jesus did not come up alive, we wouldn't have the church. We, there would be no Christians. There would be, it would have just gone. Just imagine what happened when Jesus went into Jerusalem. We did some balloon waving last week. And when Jesus entered into Jerusalem, they crucified him and he died on the cross. What if the story ended there? It wouldn't be a great story after all. And we wouldn't be here celebrating this day, isn't it? 
But God amazingly, marvelously, wonderfully showed his love for us and his great power by raising Jesus up from the dead. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that the great reason to celebrate? Yes. And when resurrection is undeniable proof that Jesus is the Son of God who rescues us from our sin and he's alive even today, even today. And we can happily be his children, listen to him, follow him, love him. Yes, Michelle. Yeah, so many things happened. Yes, so many things like that happened. Yeah, six hours later he was dead. A lot of details you all know. And today he's alive and that's the greatest reason for our celebration today. We do all these things. We do different things bump, like out of tradition and out of what we understand of Easter. We have the Easter egg hunt with that hollow egg to show that the tomb where Jesus was placed is empty. That's why the Easter eggs are made hollow, to show there's nothing inside. Because the resurrection of Jesus is that important. It's as important as these things for our life. Do you all agree with me? Okay, should we pray about it? Okay. Father God, we thank you for this Easter day. We thank you that you raised Jesus up from the dead and rescued us from our bondage to sin and for defeating death forever. Help us to love you and to follow you. In Jesus' name, amen, 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 amen. I agree, amen. Go back to your mommy's bed.